We're at Sneston today on Sunday, November the 1st. It's the final round of the Brit Car Endurance Championship. The really exciting thing for us is that we're, we're fighting for the overall championship with two of our cars. We currently sit second and third in the championship, but both cars are capable of winning overall. There's obviously inter-team rivalry, which is always a good thing. There's also the matter of a very fast Ferrari, and almost anything could happen, really. Currently, we are third in class and third in the championship, but we still stand a chance of winning, so it all comes down to this weekend, really, so it's going to be a very interesting weekend. Keep ourselves controlled and just away from the pressure and just bring the car back in one piece. Me and Jack Fabi, uh, we're currently second in the championship, so we need to win both races this afternoon and uh, hopefully maybe clinch the title that way. It's a uh, it's real hard, hard task today. All we've got to do is keep on top of everything, make sure we maximise every opportunity, uh, and hopefully we can uh, just about win this championship. I'm happy, you know, first pole of the year, um, and it's a Praga pole for every event, which is also pretty cool. So. It was a very interesting race for us. Um, everything we planned to happen paid off. Jem put in some good laps and got held the position we needed. The pit stop went perfectly, the driver changed it perfectly. And then I just managed to work my way back up to the top after the pit stop, chased down the Tyrannis and um, finally made a move stick on. Just won the first race, which is obviously very good news. It puts a bit less pressure on the second race for us. Unfortunately, a back marker I overtook him and then hit me coming into a corner, so I'm not too sure what happened there, you know. Um, so we'll just give it our best in the second race and hopefully, you know, anything can happen. We had a, a small disadvantage before, now we've got a pretty big one, but we'll just see what happens. So after race one, it's looking at the moment, Danny and Jem have got a very good chance of taking the overall as well as class one victory. And it looks like the number 84, which is this blue car, will probably end up second in its class, class one, probably third, I think, in overall. Everybody wanted to come in because it was like driving on ice. And then we all got everybody at once. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit tricky that. When it started raining it was okay to handle it. But then when it really started raining it was like ice rain. One of the telling factors today with the change of weather conditions, in order to win the championship we had to finish quite a long way in front of the Ferrari. And the Ferrari was on course to do enough to stop us winning the overall championship. They basically ate their tyres too badly and had to do another stop, and it pulled out of contention. So after a whole season, it comes down to a tyre change and a changeable race condition. We just won the Brick Car Championship overall. Pretty surreal at the moment. I've never actually won a championship, so this has been a mega day for us. Definitely one to remember this. 
really gone down to wire and, and it's just fantastic that Danny and Jem have won the championship. Jack and Gary have done really well and come third in the overall championship. I'm super proud of that. We're lucky to be able to do this and we're lucky to be successful in it. Great stuff. Congratulations. Thank you very much.